Now, life been so busy. Hey, y'all. Hey. Life been busy. I've been enjoying my life. You know, just, you know, the lovely things in life. Enjoying a good life. And here come Chris Brown and Quavo. You know, Quavo has always been my baby. He's been through a lot. He's been through a lot. Losing takeoff. And don't don't none of us know whatever's behind it. That's up to the people in the industry. What what happens in the industry don't make me shit. You know, that's why I be on here and I don't be on here. Some people don't have nothing better to do and don't have no life. So they follow what happens with celebrity celebrities every single minute. And that really is kind of bottom of the barrel. Celebrity tea really is bottom of the barrel. But I just had to come on here real quick just to say, don't fuck with Quavo. I mean, period. Why would y'all think Aries would back down? And just to kind of set this record straight, because people want to go for Chris just because Chris has a strong fan base in his generation. But what really sickens me is when women stand so hard behind Chris, knowing he fight bitches. No one that niggas put his hands on bitches. And he definitely has a drug problem. I think that's been apparent for a long time. And even somebody like me, I wasn't a Chris Brown fan from his younger days, but he's always made music you can bop your head to. I've always liked Chris Brown music. I have several Chris Brown songs on my playlist. I might even have one of his whole albums in my um playlist. But I don't like Chris personally. So as a female, you probably never see me like really defending Chris Brown. And we ain't even going to talk about how he don't like a brown skin or dark skin hoes. He don't like fat hoes. He don't like big hoes. He don't like Chris like light skin Chinese women or mixed women, which is no issue because don't nobody care who anybody likes. But. We know he make a point. I mean, it's been pl- plenty of people who say he keeps them out his section, whatever. So he makes a point with his preferences and he beats women. They can have him because he beats women. We know that. And the reason behind it is really is really neither here nor there. So it just tripped me out when I see so many women still on Chris Brown dick after all these years, the Chris Brown that came into the industry is not the Chris Brown we know now. He's cocky. He's always hyped up. He always ready to fight, punch, and hit somebody, which, of course, his problems stem from his childhood shit he's seen in his own household. Like any of us who, who would no, no matter if you had a good childhood, you're going to grow up with whatever things weren't good in your childhood. Those going to be your burdens and your um, cross to carry through life. So it's no surprise Chris has the issues he does because we know his upbringing. But repeatedly, he's had run-ins, run-ins with women, plenty of fights with men and people, women especially, continue to ride Chris's dick ridiculously. It's repulsive. It's repulsive when women don't stand with other women, especially in dom- against men who are like on some domestic violence type stuff. He's always aggressive and wanting to fight. But if we just talking about the lyrics and the songs, I'm not sure. That's what I said. I feel like everybody goes for Chris just because it's Chris. Like his song was okay. But other than calling Quavo cuss cuss words or just calling him names, what did he really say to hit Quavo below the belt or to really make a impact? I listened to that Chris Brown song a couple of times. It don't sound good. And he ain't saying nothing. He just talking a lot of shit. And I don't even really believe Sweetie did nothing with Chris. I don't believe that for some reason. It could be true. But to me, Chris really wasn't saying nothing. He definitely didn't body Quavo. And I think Quavo's latest song that he just released today is better because he's telling the truth. You a coked out wannabe or drugged out. I don't even know what he take. It could be meth. It could be fentanyl. It could be anything. Fentanyl. It could be whatever. The crack pipe. You're a coked out Michael Jackson wannabe beat a bitch Chris, Chris Brown. 
I could never respect nothing like that over Quavo. Quavo and Sweetie had a little tussle in the elevator, but that wasn't nothing but a but a uh a little a uh, little hold you in and uh hold you and let you go match between lovers, jilted lovers. Quavo ain't beat Sweetie up. He didn't hit Sweetie. From what we know, from what we've seen, and from nothing she said, has she ever said Quavo hit her? And what happened with Takeoff, we all kind of saw it on video. We don't, we're not behind the scenes to know if Quavo's involved in any setups or whatever. People who take all their time, do all this investigation work on here, need to go apply to work for the police. You know, because what else you doing with your time? And they be thinking they know stuff, which was really funny to me is. I just happen to be, I'm not too young. I'm not too old. I'm right in a good generation to kind of know what's going on with the young folks and know what's going on with the older folks. So I always keep a ground, a uh, ear to the ground on everything that's going on. That's why my page be on point. My videos be on point. What I say about people will be on point. And if I did celebrity gossip reporting, it would be on point because I really listen to the rap. I grew up with boys. We're all boys, two brothers. I really listen to the raps. I really listen to the songs. I really peep what's going on in this day and age. But there's a lot of people who do these videos that don't know nothing. Don't even know a person's history. Don't know their song catalog. If they act, they don't know their history. Don't know how they came on the scene. But they just talk about stuff based on current events and what their opinions and what, what they surmise about a situation and all that police and guest investigative work. But they really don't know about the people that they reporting on these gossip channels they really don't know the backgrounds they just be talking about people and stories half the time can't pronounce their names right don't know the background the history the music nothing it's despicable and the ladies that's 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 really eating chris brown ass is despicable it's quavo all day every day the song he dropped today is better than that Chris Brown shit. I don't really remember nothing. The only memorable thing is how he kind of put Sweetie in it. But even those lines was weak. But um, nothing's memorable about, memorable, memorable about Chris Brown's song. And it don't sound good. And Quavo's song, bringing Takeoff in, that was genius. That was perfect since Chris Brown want to bring up Takeoff. And we could hear Takeoff rap again. Y'all need to get off Chris Brown dick, especially y'all females. It's disgusting. You have no self-esteem. You must be used to getting beat up by niggas, by men. And Quavo, it's Quavo all day, every day. Just as a man, I got more respect for Quavo than I do Chris because of their backgrounds and history. So I just had to say that and go listen to Quavo's song because um, that sound better than anything that's came out so far between him and Chris. And that's on all periods every period you can think of the dot the period the dash and that's all i had to say i might come back and do another video talk about some stuff but life be good too good to be on youtube y'all all right madamax frequency world radio i'll talk to y'all later bye